hello dear friends and students welcome to our next tutorial in previous tutorial we have learned how we can get values from our edit text and how we can make click events on our buttons and we have also put if else checks on these values now we are going to create our register screen and we will redirect it from register button let me start it we have already created a uh, login screen i will modify it and we will get values accordingly login screen right click on it and go to refractor and copy it register register and press okay we will add some more fields add a text full name full name et full name right here et full name and remove this margin from top to it 20 and uh, we will remove it from here and also minimize this margin to 20 and now copy it add a text name email password and after it phone number phone and address ET address and give add a text of password as input type password input type password text password text password also you can put IME options next IME options action next go here phone input type phone and IME options action next in the same way you will put all the input types and IME options in all input fields and now we remove this margin or minimize it some little bit margin 10 and margin 10 now we have successfully designed our register screen and now we will create its java class we have already created login activity and go here refractor it to register activity 
कॉपी एंड रजिस्टर रजिस्टर एक्टिविटी प्रेस ओके एड हेयर मिसिंग वैल्यूज एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू एड इट्स स्क्रीन नेम हेयर रजिस्टर स्क्रीन एंड नाउ पुट हेयर मिसिंग आइटम्स ईमेल पासवर्ड ईटी एड्रेस ईटी फुल नेम एंड ईटी फोन आल्सो चेंज दिस वैल्यूज हेयर ऑन लेफ्ट साइड फोन ईटी फुल नेम and et address also make them global here et full name et phone now we have accessed our edit text to our java class now we will make checks on these values we don't need this this functionality here we will uh, remove this functionality or you can modify it here string full name et full name dot get text dot string string str phone et phone dot get text dot to string string address str address s e t address dot get text dot to string and now make here checks on these values copy it from here str full name and str phone and last one str address we have successfully put a fail check on all these fields and here we will show to us register register successfully we have put all the java functionality here and we will go to our previous screen login screen and here we will start our register screen this is your register button right here code to start activity start your activity here select this one new intent this is your right here this and go to your register 
activity dot class and before starting it go to your screen manifest file and copy these two lines and paste it here and write here register screen register activity now your register activity will start from this button and go to your register screen here you have two buttons uh, one is login and other is register uh, change this id login to register or do something like this cut this from top and paste it here on bottom login and while you will press login button in register screen you will go to your login screen here change its id login button here change its id to button register and here you will go to your login screen back start activity new intent register activity dot this and starting activities login activity dot class this will start your login activity again now we will run it and see what is happening press this button it is showing your login screen press uh, register button it will start your register screen you are seeing here, here register screen if i press register button showing message lo login button i have not changed it here i will change it again if i press login it will redirect it to login screen i will change this uh, message from here register button pressed login button pressed commit this message we don't need this message we have successfully created our register screen we have successfully created our register screen and redirected both of these screens to register screen and again back to login screen in next tutorial we will make click event on this image and we will take image from the student and then we will save start saving data in our local database thank you for watching my this tutorial if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also share this video with your friends thank you for watching this tutorial take care